What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm 14 weeks pregnant, Claudia. And this is a standing, low-impact cardio workout. There is absolutely no equipment required for today's routine, but if you want to increase the intensity, feel free to grab a couple of light hand weights or water bottles. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, hands are out in front of us, elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. Now we're gonna do a chest opener plus march in place. So pulling back on those hands and our elbows and at the same time bringing up opposite side knees. Moving at a warm up pace here, so no reason to rush. Bring that knee up as high as you can, whether that's to parallel to the ground or a little bit lower. We're not going to count any repetitions in the warm up or throughout the workout. We're just going to encourage you to move at your own pace. This one's working your quads, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, upper back, chest, all getting warmed up at the same time on this one. I feel it, feeling warm already. Making sure to pull back on those elbows and really open that chest up. Let's do this one for just last 10 seconds. Making sure to breathe throughout for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, moving into a move for our upper back. It's called pull the rope. Put your feet shoulder width apart, weight back in your hips, slight bend in your upper body. Now we're gonna reach, stretch that upper back, and then pull, reach, and pull like we're pulling a rope. Just envision that imaginary rope every time you're reaching as far as you can getting that stretch in your upper back and then pulling back from that elbow it's going to also help you to engage your lats make sure to breathe keep that core tight back straight and just the warm up here so don't go at too crazy of a pace and the purpose of our warm up here is to increase your overall body temperature get your heart rate up and at the same time we like to sneak a little bit of mobility work in here all at the same time again pulling back from that elbow every time reaching as far as you can excellent let's go last 10 seconds on this one keep that breathing going for five four three two one zero all right next we're going to warm up our posterior chain which is our whole back side feet are a little wider than shoulder width on this one with our toes pointed out we're gonna do a posterior swing to overhead slight bend in those knees you're gonna hike your hands between your legs keeping your back straight and then bring those arms up overhead feeling that stretch in your shoulders so this one isn't don't turn it into a squat but instead we're hinging at the hips and then squeezing those glutes up at the top like you're trying to slam a door shut with just your tushy just push it back pushing your hips back every time all in the hips and then bring those arms straight up overhead this one's working on your hamstrings your glutes lower back upper back and shoulder mobility all getting nice and warm on this one so you want to inhale as you swing under and exhale as you bring those hands overhead. That's it. And we're going to talk a lot about proper breathing today and making sure you're exhaling on the hardest part of the move. Good standard rule of thumb. Keep that head in line with your spine so you don't want your eyes up like this as you're going down. But instead, allow those eyes to travel down, keeping your head right in line with your spine as you're hinging at those hips. Good, nice consistent breathing here. Should feel a stretch in your hamstrings and your backside as you're going down. I feel it. Feels good. I can use this today. Feeling a little tight. All right, let's keep it up for the last 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, and 
Zero. All right, shake those arms loose. Ready to work? I'm ready. Are you ready? Right, let's let's do, it. do it. So we are going to use our light hand weights. Totally up to you. If you want to use some light hand weights, well, Claudia's going to use some water, water bottles, bottles or nothing at all, or just your own body weight. Okay. So we're going to do a side raise plus front kick. So at the same time, we're going to bring both hands up or both arms out until they're parallel to the floor. And then we're going to alternate front kicks. I'm right. doing a little bit of a lower kick. You notice I'm not going quite as high as Coach Kozak. So just work within your fitness level here. Yeah, you decide exactly how high you want to get those kicks. You don't want to go too crazy where you're losing balance, but at the same time pushing yourself. Always a good happy medium between the two. A lot of coordination going on here. Exactly. We're going to do a lot of compound moves today. We're going to get a lot of work in in a short period of time. And if any of these moves today, you start with a higher weight and you need to lower your weight, feel free to do so, or just no weight at all, or vice versa. If you find any of the moves too easy, then go ahead and increase that resistance. Work on consistent breathing on this one. And for that kick, you're bringing the knee up and then you're extending at the leg. Excellent. I'm already feeling a nice shoulder burn Ooh, me here. too. It's working, everybody. Getting to get that heart rate up quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's go last 10 seconds on this first one. Come on. Let's go, Tribe. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm hanging on to my hand weights, moving into a bent over arm swing. So feet are shoulder width apart, bending over on a 45 degree angle, palms are facing backwards. We're gonna alternate, one arm is gonna go up, one arm is gonna go back. So getting full range of motion on both sides of the swing. One arm is pulling back and you're feeling that lat and tricep engage. And the other arm that's coming up overhead, feeling your upper back trap and posterior deltoid taking over. We really wanna make sure that we're keeping a nice, stable core throughout this entire movement. So if you feel like you're having to use a little extra momentum and, and swing, then you might wanna reduce your weight just a little bit. I'd say always want trying to stay under control here. Also keep that head in line with your spine, so you shouldn't be having your head up on this one, but instead, you know, a nice little forward gaze going head right in line with your spine Ooh. emphasizing both ends of the move here my shoulders are feeling it yeah this is today is a total body workout it may be a cardio workout but that doesn't mean that it's all legs we're getting full body involved today and yes this one's definitely working your shoulders as well as your back a little bit of chest and triceps as well let's go last 10 seconds fighting through it everybody Right there with you for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, shake those arms loose. We're gonna move into either a lunge back plus curl or a step back plus a curl. Feet are shoulder width apart and now we're gonna alternate stepping back. I'm dropping both knees to a 90 degree angle. And I'm just gonna step backwards and return right back to starting position. You decide which one's more appropriate for you. And that may mean uh, a move in between the two where I'm coming all the way down to a 90 degree angle. You might drop that back knee a little bit, but not quite be able to get it all the way down. Again, you decide which is most appropriate for you. And at the same time, we're curling up, working those biceps. This one's gonna work your quads, hamstrings, glutes, biceps, forearms. Told you today it was an efficient workout. Definitely. It's all about getting as much work in as we can in that short period of time. Let's go right here, Hasfit Tribe. Every repetition getting you just that much closer to your goals. Focusing on your breathing. Core staying tight. Let's go. Good time in that workout to remind yourself why you hit that play button today. What made you start this workout? What are you working towards? What are you gonna achieve by getting this workout done? Focusing on those goals for the last 10 seconds right here. Here we go. Finish strong on this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. 
All right, moving into a little bit of an upper body move I'm going to drop my dumbbells for this one. And I'm holding on to mine. We're going to do a high punch out plus run in place. So bringing those hands back to your chin every time and then punching high overhead. Hot feet running in place at the same time, getting that heart rate up. Light and on the balls of your feet, you want to return that energy back into the ground. That's it, hot feet, hot feet. You decide if the dumbbells are appropriate for you or just using your own body weight is. Either way, keep those feet moving. Nice low impact on this one. Again, if you got neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. No. Nice soft ground contacts. Hot feet, come on. Let's go tribe. What do you got? Put it all out there. Almost there, let's go. Last 10 seconds on this one. Fight through it, fight through it. What do you got for five, four, three, two, one, zero, excellent. All right, I'm gonna set my hand weights down for the next one, so no hand weights required. We're gonna work our way on over to either a wall, countertop, or couch. We're gonna do a wall push-up plus two knee raises. So we're gonna have our hands in line with our chest, bring our chest to the wall, elbows at a 90 degree angle, push off. Now knee raise, knee raise and repeat. So for this move, the more upright you are, the easier it'll be, meaning the closer your feet are to the wall. And the more of an angle you're on, the harder the move will be. So if you really wanna add more of a challenge, feel free to put your hands on either a low countertop or a couch, or just move your hands down the wall. On this one, we wanna make sure that we're not bringing our face to the wall, but instead really emphasizing bringing our chest to the wall. Keeping those elbows bent, not locking them out at the top of the move. And then we're using our abs and our core muscles to bring those knees into our chest. I want you to breathe in on the way down and exhale as you press off the wall. Excellent, come on, keep it up, Hasfit Tribe. Getting as many in as you can here. This is a great place to start if you wanna progress into a push-up from the floor. That's it, if you're not quite there yet on a regular push-up, this is a great progressive move. Let's go last 10 seconds on this one. We're almost there. Building some strength here. Fighting through, everyone. We're fighting through with you for the last five, four, three, two, one, and zero, excellent. Shake those arms loose, no weights again required for this next one. I'm gonna do a lateral juke plus push. And I'm gonna do a side to side step plus a push. So our footwork is the same. We're both swapping out that middle foot, but the main difference is I'm actually jumping from side to side. And this is low, low, lower impact. Yep, Claudia is just stepping from side to side. And at the same time, we're pressing out like we're a football player, or like we're pushing somebody. Big push, big power, using our chest as well as our shoulders. Making sure to put that weight back in your hips. Don't have your knees locked out on this one. Give it a nice soft bend in those knees throughout. Work at your own pace. That's it. And again, you decide which variation is most appropriate for you. Pushing yourself, because nobody else is gonna do it for you. And that's who you're in competition with right now. Let's go, tribe. Not us, in competition with yourself. With the you who couldn't do it yesterday. But today, you're stronger. Come on, let's go. Crank them out here. Let's go, last 10 seconds. What do you got? Put it out there for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh. Excellent job. Nice work. Shake those arms loose. Ooh. Grab a couple of deep breaths here, allowing that heart rate to come down. Yes. We're going to move into a cool down, and the purpose of our cool down is to allow that heart rate to come down slowly, but also to get some flexibility work in. So we're going to start with a one leg hip hinge. Slight bend in one leg, opposite leg out on that heel. Pulling back on your toes, keeping that leg straight. I'm gonna put the weight back in your hips as we bend over, hinge at the hips, keeping your back straight, feeling stretch all down that lead leg. 
keeping your head in line with that spine, pulling back on your toes. It's gonna give you a little additional calf stretch. This one's stretching your calves, hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Nice, big deep breaths here. Focus on getting that heart rate back down for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, let's switch legs. Same move. Sitting back, weight in your hips. Back stays straight. Pulling back on those toes. All focus on that lead leg. Nice big deep breaths. That's it. And focus on getting that heart rate back down. Excellent. And any of these static stretches we're just holding, you're focusing on getting about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You want to feel a good stretch, but you shouldn't feel any real pain. Back stays straight for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Up, nice and slow. <sighs> Let's do those shoulders next. We're going to move into an upright external rotation. Bring those elbows up until they're pa parallel to the floor. Pull back on those hands. Can the elbows bend at a 90? And we're just going to hold. Keep pulling back on those hands again. Static stretch. So we're trying to get to 85, 90%. It's a great one to stretch out your chest, shoulders, rotator cuffs. A lot of good shoulder work in today. Like I said, today was a full body cardio workout. So that means those shoulders got work in too. They sure did. It's also a great move to help you improve your posture. If you're spending a lot of time bent over at a desk, sitting down watching TV, on your phone, at a computer, driving, so many of our habits are killing our posture. It's a great one to reverse that. Keep pulling back on those hands. Ah, I feel a little bit of burn too. Totally common. Holding it here, last 10 seconds. Nice, big, deep breaths for five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Shake those burning oh. shoulders out. Okay. <laughs> right, we're gonna do a staggered reach next. So feet are shoulder width apart, but then let's stagger them. One, let's put your right foot back. If you have a little bit of a problem with balance, you can widen your base a little bit. Yep, good tip. So let's go ahead and put your left hand on your hip and with your right hand, we're gonna reach across and back. So we're looking this way, feeling a stretch all down our oblique, our lat, all through our hip flexor and quadricep. So bend that knee a little bit, drop that back knee a little bit, but not all the way down. And we're looking back behind us into the left. And just hold. Again, focus on feeling that stretch. Everybody's gonna feel this one a little bit differently. Usually wherever you're tightest. And nice big deep breaths here. For five, four, three, two, one, shake it loose. All right, let's hit that last one. Same move, opposite side. So put your right foot in front, drop that back knee a little bit, and now opposite hand on your hip, and reaching across. Also trying your best to keep good balance here. Mm-hmm. Which is even more of a challenge after that workout. Again, focus on that breathing. Good time in the routine here, just to take a second to be proud of yourself for getting through it. Hitting that play button, finishing strong right to the very end. Not an easy thing to do, but you did it. You can cross it off your list and feel accomplished today. Let's go last five seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, and that is it, my friends. You made it. You made it, coach. Excellent work out there. Ooh. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Right to the very end, we'd ask that you please help support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. You can do so by downloading our free app. It's available for both iOS and Android. You can also stop by our store, pick up some HazFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like this video and you can follow us on your favorite social media outlet. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.